my name's Compecky, and if you're watching this video, you've probably heard of this game. This game right here. This game. Um, Hogwarts Legacy, which I am and was very excited for. Um, and then I learned some things. So there are two developers named Avalanche, and I thought Avalanche Studios was making this game. So let me let me show you a little thing right here. Ooh, uh, this is the Avalanche Studios website. All right, it looks pretty cool, looks pretty professional. You scroll down, you're like, oh, they made Rage 2, they made Just Cause 4, they made Mad Max. These are some cool games. These are some cool games. I, I'm behind it. Hogwarts Legacy is probably gonna be pretty good. And then somebody tells you, hey, Avalanche Studios didn't make Hogwarts Legacy. So now I'm sitting here a little disappointed. I'm scared, all right? Somebody told me Avalanche Software makes Hogwarts Legacy. So let's, um, what does Avalanche Software make? Let's see, I don't know, maybe some of this. So yeah, they make they make Cars games and Disney Infinity games and more Cars games and Toy Story games and then some other stuff. Here's their Wikipedia page if you want to have a look. I'm back in the day they worked with Mortal Kombat. That's pretty cool. Who doesn't like Mortal Kombat? Uh, and then after that, there's some games I've never heard of. These these I don't know. And there's some Rugrats games. Tack people like. Tack or Taka, however you say this this guy's name. Tack Games. Uh, Chicken Little. Everybody likes Chicken Little, I, I, I guess, and stuff. And, I mean, in the last decade, they've made Toy Story 3, Cars 2, Disney Infinities 1 through 3, and Cars 3 Driven to Win. So, it's not the greatest resume ever. I mean, it's... There's a lot of licensed games here, and licensed games aren't usually good. I've looked at Cars 3 and Cars 2, and they just kind of look like passable Mario Kart-ish games with more emphasis on the racing and less on items. I don't know, they look okay. And then Disney Infinities, they look like typical kids game adventure games. Uh, if we look at where's the review scores, look, Disney Infinity 3 got all 8s. So that's actually, that, that speaks pretty well. Anywhere from 8.8 .8 to 8.9. That's not bad. Metacritic, anywhere from 78 to 81. Again, passable. Uh, Cars 3? What, how'd this one do? Uh, ooh, 5.7, 7.3, 59, 72, 59. Okay, not not quite as highly rated. How, about the, how did the first Disney Infinity game do? Like nine, four out of five, six out of ten is not great. Two point five out of five is not great. But for the most part, it's like eight-ish, seven or eight. It's a nine up here. Seventy-five is on Metacritic. Seventy-one, seventy-four, seventy-five. It's not the worst thing ever. So yeah, it's Aval Avalanche Software makes Hogwarts Legacy, which is you know what. I don't have a lot of, they, they don't have a great resume, okay? But what they just might have is passion, okay? Apparently they know how to make licensed games. And it's a licensed game for Harry Potter, I guess for Wizarding World technically, because Harry Potter's not in it. It could still be good. Don't lose hope. Don't pre-order, because it could be bad. I hope not, but it could be. But don't lose hope. Because I'm not losing hope. I really want this game to be good. Please be good. Avalanche Software, please make a good game if you're watching. I, I have hope that you can do it. All right? Your resume, it doesn't matter. Okay? It doesn't matter. You can make a good game. You've got this. And I believe in you. I guess that's it for me. It was a short video.
like the like the green screen like like I did stuff as and it's not perfect you can't see the right side of my arm right or this but don't worry about it have a great day my name is Kompaki and I hope you actually have a dandy day not a great day that's my outro is dandy day all right I'm done goodbye